Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. And also, welcome to Taravina, Sicily. This is such a beautiful city. As all of you Lizard fans know, the trailer for Takashi Yamazaki's Godzilla Minus One has finally released on YouTube after a whole year of basically no information about it. And it looks like it's finally gonna bring to life a gritty, realistic period film about what Godzilla would truly bring to a nation suffering like Japan did after World War II. The brief teasing we were given gives us various aerial views of destruction and peril and loud footsteps playing throughout. And then, well, you all know what happens right after that. And if you don't, please do me a solid and click off of this stupid video of me and Pasta Land and just go watch it. I mean, I'm not kidding. Go. It's literally right there in the description. Also, look at all these different types of pasta. They've got all these different colors. They've got farfalle, pasta in the shape of hearts. They have pasta in the shape of wheels, pasta in the shape of... Questa è gelato mania. Quella è mia amica preferita. Si chiama Rebecca. I'll pretend like I know what you just said. E un coppetta grande di mango. From the trailer, it looks like we're finally getting a modern Godzilla film that doesn't stop and look at itself as a Godzilla film because a, a lot of audiences these days stereotype Godzilla as, you know, like those silly, funny movies with like monsters clashing on a fake looking city because that's how most Western audiences have stereotyped it. I don't know if Toho Studios is one to be cryptic, but it looks like the trailer kind of separates scenes from World War II and destruction from Godzilla, by the hands of Godzilla. What I mean by that is the placement of the caption from zero to minus, because before that we see a like, bunch of barren wasteland and like bomb craters, and to me that looks like it's going to be, yeah, this is so good. <coughs> it looks like it's going to be the Tokyo bombings, as well as the um, aftermath of Hiroshima, which would be really cool. Well, I mean, that wasn't cool at all. That was terrible, but getting to see that would be interesting. And then after the caption from zero to minus, then we see Godzilla. So I'm thinking that it's also gonna shed light on the Tokyo bombings and all that. And I like how they did that. They're really like emphasizing the theme of this story, which is, basically pummeling you while you're already down. Like, Japan was in its like lowest state after World War II. And in the story, Godzilla came and attacked them at their lowest, hence from zero to minus. And I just, I love that. I think it's genius. Did you didn't mention to the landlord about it? Overall, it looks freaking amazing and I cannot wait to see it. I mean, Japan is so lucky because it releases a whole month before it releases in America. November 3rd and I'm in limbo because I'm in Italy and I don't even know when it's gonna release here or if it's going to release here in theaters anyways we're about to go to my car and drive home and I'm gonna finish my um, gelato alla mango so have a good day you Buona serata.